Good morning everybody. It's another beautiful day on the Finca. Um, today we've got the internet coming in. We're moving in in less than two weeks now so we need to get these things like this sorted out. So they're coming to install that. I'm not sure how we're going to work it around a, a building site but we'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to be cracking on with the, the room, the downstairs loo. Sharon unfortunately can't be here again today because we're still in the process of handing over the business. So we have responsibilities down there that need attending to. Unfortunately, Sharon's able to do that. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Hi, we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to Finca Life. In 2019, we bought a derelict Finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building was an empty shell with no main services, water, electric or sewage. And we're restoring it, doing all the work ourselves with the view to giving us an off-grid, debt-free home. In addition to this, self-sufficiency is very important to us, so we're going to aim to produce as much of our own food as possible. And the idea behind these videos is to log our progress, but also to provide you with something you hopefully find interesting and informative. Please join us on our journey. Well, we have internet now, um, a temporary setup like most things down here um, but it's working and we're connected fantastic the antenna's right up there next to the uh, chimney it shows me it'll be all right if not they'll come and move it <laughs> the leaning antenna of bodega right so now the internet's in they've all gone um, i'm going to carry on with this this wall i've got the base piece in i've got that piece in you saw yesterday I'm now working on this corner. I give myself these challenges. Um, what I've done, I've got to go around the soil pipe. It's going to be boxed in. Um, but what I've, what I've done, I put a little block on there. I'm going to put another one running across there up to the wall, and then I'm going to fix one to the wall going up there. So that's me, my, my external frame done on the on the front. Um, also. <laughs> Um, thanks for all your replies, um, your comments. The bees are driving me crazy. Um, we're going to go with white. People have said skim it. So we're going to have it skimmed, bright white, brown, thick frame on the outside. And probably TNG clad the inside so we get the best of all worlds. The one on the right hand side is in now. And a little bit at the bottom going around the pipe. Um, now's where the fun starts. This one's got to go in there. Um, the joists are completely different heights. Um, <laughs> it's uh, all good fun. I'm just going to go and get an acro and um, see if I can acro it in place. Well, that was an, an epic struggle. <laughs> um, it's in, it's got an acro under it. I've even cut this end one there. It's now dead level, and you can see the problem that I can get my hand in um, behind that joist there. Which is going to, it's going to cause a bit of fun for my ceiling, isn't it? Um, I don't know if this one's sagged over the years, or if that one's... Well, if it's just thinner, or it's a bit twisted, or what. Who knows? But it's in, so um, I'm going to attempt to get some fixings in it somehow. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. It's never easy, these things. Everything's wonky. Finally, it's in. It's level. That's level both ways. This is level both ways. It's all good. Um, the next job is the ceiling. Um, I put the ceiling in next because everything else that goes in will go up to the ceiling. Um, if you try and put it in after you, if I'm putting a TNG ceiling in, you've got to start beading around things and everything. Um, these two joists are pretty level. You can see this, this one and this one. This one is a lot higher, shorter. I need to put a piece on the wall that I can run these two front ones across to the same level as that. And then probably just put a little packet, packing slither in that to bring that down. Um, so I think the next job, yeah, is to um, get a piece on the wall there. 
I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it on top of here because that's obviously where I want it to be and then at this end these pipes are going to be boxed in anyway so I'll put a piece up the wall um, in front of the pipes that it can rest on top of as well so basically I need to get that end piece in first well there's a shock, the internet company have just rang me they're coming back to move the antenna the, the leaning antenna of Bodega um, hopefully in the morning <laughs> uh, unbelievable Spanish craftsmanship right so I've got I've got this M1 in here I've got the top one in it's all level um, I'm going to say I'm just going to spray form it in place down here and that will seal all those pipes in lock them all up as well um, when the ceiling's going in I've got to think now about um, lights and the extractor fan which is actually there it's got a Chinese takeaway thing in it at the moment um, so I'm going to run the cables up from our junction box that we put in the other day and get them all in place they'll just be hanging down cap top but at least they'll be there inside the walls plus I um, want to look at a way of running the, the sinks going like here um, ish I think so I want to run the waste pipe from the sink inside this wall as well um, the, the hot and cold aren't so much of a problem because they can come straight up from the floor um, behind the, the sink pedestal but the waste I want it inside the wall if I can do that so uh, yet another thing to think about right let's get these um, in place that's all in nice and neat um, I've had enough I'm going to call it a day um, not that we're under pressure at all um, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video shall me back tomorrow carry on with the, with the bedroom um, I'm going to be carrying on with this lots, lots of thinking things to do and um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video if so consider subscribing to the channel um, select the little bell and click all to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos thanks again so much and thanks again to all the new subscribers it's gone bonkers I think it's 350 odd now um, sort of 25, 30 in the last day fantastic news thank you so much guys um, we'll see you tomorrow.